I'm Dr. B, and I'm here to talk to you more about detoxification. In part one of this three-part series, we talked about how toxins can affect every system in your body. In part two, we're going to discuss where toxins are coming from and what you can do to reduce them, so let's dive in. Saying that poisons are all around us is one thing, but it's important to recognize what they are and where they are coming from. Stopping the source is vital to prevent continued exposure and further damage to health. Potential sources of toxins. You can reduce your contact with harmful chemicals and heavy metals by becoming aware of potential sources. While many food and personal care products list ingredients on the label, some may not have that information readily accessible for varying reasons. Here are a few places that toxic substances are found. Oftentimes, certain toxins are not considered to be ingredients and regulations may not require them to be disclosed. In those cases, it's important to look for validation, such as a label that the product does not contain the toxin. Many companies indicate on their labels the toxic ingredients not contained in their product. Number one, tap water. Tap water comes from different sources such as wells or public water systems. Aside from chlorine, fluoride, and bacteria, many old pipes leach heavy metals into the water you drink straight from the tap. Part three gives you ways to purify your water. Two, indoor air. Indoor air can be polluted from outdoor air. Pest control products, freshly painted walls, outgassing of chemicals used to treat carpets and furniture fabrics, air fresheners, and the cleaning supplies you use. More healthful products that don't contain these toxins can be used. Part three shows you how you can clean up your indoor air. Number three, check your cleaning supplies. Use products that are eco-friendly and harmful chemical free. Many household cleaners and laundry detergents can be made with non-toxic materials and are quite effective. Dryer bowls are preferred to dryer sheets. Number four, construction materials such as pressure treated wood, vinyl flooring, wooden floor refinishing, adhesives and deck coatings are a few of the materials you should be seeking less toxic alternatives. Number five, clothing. Clothing and bed sheets may contain dyes, flame retardants, synthetic fibers that can be irritant getting into the body through the skin. Dry cleaning can be especially toxic. Number six, personal care items such as deodorant, skin moisturizers, soaps, hair products, toothpaste, shaving creams, mouth rinses, and makeup are notorious for toxic ingredients. Look for chemicals to avoid such as fragrances, dyes, parabens, phthalates, sodium lauryl sulfate, talc, aluminum, and other chemicals. If you don't recognize the chemical name, look it up. Number seven, food. The food you eat can contain pesticides, processing chemicals, artificial dyes and preservatives, gluten, salt, and sugar. Observe a cleaner diet by buying organic, non-GMO, seasonal plant-based foods. Dairy and meat should be from grass-fed, free-range animals without hormones, antibiotics, and sedatives. Number eight, lawn and plant care. These products should not contain glyphosate and need to be child and pet friendly. Number nine, medical testing. Medical testing procedures may contain radioactive dyes such as CT scans with contrast, thallium stress tests, and MRIs that contain the heavy metal gallidinium. Informed consent should help you decide the appropriateness for your condition. Number 10, dental materials. Dental materials are implanted in your teeth or gums and expose you 24-7. Amalgams are 50% mercury and should be avoided completely. Mercury is given off when drinking hot liquids and inhaled or swallowed each time friction is applied from tooth brushing, eating, chewing gum, or dental hygiene polishing. Dental sealants used in children should be BPA free. Number 11, avoid plastics that can leach toxins in food. Store food in glass. Never microwave in plastic containers or covered with plastic wrap. Stay away from styrofoam. Food storage containers and bags should be BPA free. Well, we listed a few things you can do to stop harmful toxins from entering your body, whether through what you eat and drink, cleaning products and personal care items frequently used, and continuous exposure to construction and dental materials. When you take the time to knowledgeably read labels and ask questions, you become aware of what you can avoid and search for healthy alternatives. In part three, you're going to learn about the way toxins can be removed from your environment and your body. So in the meantime, subscribe, like us, take care, be well. Ciao.